Hello everyone, welcome to the Student Investor Podcast with me, your host Ivan Sambo. Today guys, we are talking about four companies that I am watching in 2024 that are AI driven and I think are the best companies in terms of you want to buy shares of companies if you want to look into companies that are focusing on AI revolution or AI focused driven companies. So those are the four companies that we're talking about today and also guys, just a disclaimer as all always none of my videos constitute as financial advice or financial recommendation to go buy these companies but i am just highlighting them to drive the sense of financial education and what people should and must look into when they want to understand better the world of investing so guys it was the end time let's get into this episode So guys, when we talk about the AI revolution or artificial intelligence, it's an industry that's currently booming and is doing very well. It is recorded that global the global artificial intelligence market has been growing at a rate that has never been seen before. As of 2024, the market of AI or, in the, or the industry itself, it is valued at around 196 Point six three billion US dollars, and that's just only in 2024. And to show guys that this market, the AI market, is growing. If you go back to 2022, it was only valued at around one 142 billion, but currently 2024 is sitting around 196 billion, and that shows that this market is growing. And the USA, the US market, account or account for around. 41.23 percent of the AI market, and that's why the four companies I'll be mentioning today are all US based companies, meaning you can invest into them in the New York stock market. And you need a broker that will give you access into the New York stock market. I know Shift does that, Pro Stock does that, Easy Equity does that. So if you have any of the three brokers, you can easily buy the shares of the companies I will be talking about, and you can better research and understand because those brokers those three of them typically have the four companies I'll be mentioned. And the reason why I focus on the New York stock market is because, as I said, forty-one. 0.21.23% of the AI uh, a share is just held by the US market. So if you want to invest to AI, the US is the best place to play into because they have more virus, just not just not just counting the four I'll be talking to about today, but also the broader other companies that are there listed who are AI focused and AI driven, guys. And why must I talk? Why must we look into the AI? Why must I talk about the AI revolution and looking to invest into the AI space. The AI space has been one, or the AI industry has been one that has been so um, widespread that its impact, its operation, only seen in one industry, just tech. But they started to be in the, they started to be in the healthcare system now. Hospitals, a healthcare technology are now integrating AI into their system to make them work better, meaning there's a market space of AI into the healthcare field. We talk about businesses and how business operates, and not only just a business product, but the administration of a business now is being done by AI tools. And those AI tools are backed by some of these companies that we'll be talking about today. We talk about government innovations and government throughout the world. We are seeing it in Europe most are starting to integrate into starting to integrate AI into their operation, making it more easier for their people to pay tax or whatever system they want. And that means that we need to invest into AI because it means it is growing. We're also seeing it in the gaming space. Gaming was the first one to adopt AI and integrate it into their system, meaning that the gaming space is growing and it needs more AI tools, it needs more AI chips, and those companies that produce those AI AI tools, produce those AI uh, chips and uh, uh, graphic cards and all of those things are booming, will make more money in the gaming space. So that's why AI 
industry is something else I think we need to look into as that early stage before it becomes a huge global uh, powerhouse. But I don't think it's reached that stage yet. So what are the four companies that I am looking into in the AI space? And I think I I think we won't do justice if I don't say number one is Nvidia. Ah, uh, guys, N V D A. Nvidia. You can spell it as N V I D I A Corporation. It is a New York listed company which. For the past few years, just one year alone, I have seen around 194% growth um, and I've been performing very well. And this company, guys, Vida, is a huge, huge player in the AI hardware and software space. Space. What do I mean about that? This company, guys, produces graphic cards that are needed for the operation of the AI itself, right? The artificial intelligence tool, whether it is a chatbot or it is a, a, a programming system, whatever it is, it needs a chip to, to operate in. And Vida is the leading in making those graphic cards or chips that I use it. And also, guys, remember, those chips are needed by big companies. I'm talking about Amazon, I'm talking about Google, I'm talking about Microsoft, I'm talking about Meta, which aka Facebook, also buy those graphic cards from Vida. So they, the primary graphic cards needed to operate AI, the biggest role player in it is in this company known as Nvidia, listed in the New York stock market. You can buy their share right there and with bro, with bro stock, easy equity shift, you can easily access, you just pick which app you want to use to buy uh, 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 to buy the shares of Nvidia if you're interested. I'm not saying it's recommendation. I'm just highlighting it. The second one, guys, you have Meta, aka also known as Facebook, guys. Meta has seen around 83% uh, one year turnaround. It has been involved in the AI and technology space in the past few years, trying to create their metaverse and they have forced AI into all their customers, seeing the AI integration happen on Facebook, happen on Instagram, happen on WhatsApp. All their platform are trying to integrate their own, what is known as meta AI, and to ensure that people can use their own um, in-house build, uh, what do you call it, AI chip called, not AI chip, but AI called the meta AI. And it has seen a huge, Boom. Imagine it's being forced to a lot of people, but those people are using it. A lot of WhatsApp, Facebook people are moving into, relying mostly into the AI, meta AI that's in their search box. But I'm seeing it failing on Instagram. Instagram people are happy with it, but you know, Instagram is a different story. And it seems to be more active. As I was looking at the numbers, looking at how people are, uh, I mean, what Facebook is reporting, saying that a lot of people are using the meta AI that's found on WhatsApp as well as Facebook. They're struggling with Instagram um, AI that's integrated there. So meta AI is doing very well. The company is performing very well. They are currently having issues in Europe where they're seeing the European European Union are setting aside Meta AI, not allowing it to be integrated there. But that's holding them a little bit back. I hope that issue can get resolved. But if you're looking to invest into an AI company, Meta AI seem to be good as well as the same time they're trying to create this metaverse and now they're integrating uh, what you call this thing, um, uh, uh, AI into their metaverse. And remember, Mark, Zab Mark Zagapek has been a huge advocate for creating this virtual world using AI, using artificial intelligence to create this visual world that is talking about. We're yet to see it in reality, but Meta AI is a company you can look into when you want to invest into the AI space. When we go to the third company, we have Amazon. One thing I love about Amazon, as much as they have the product side where AI is integrated into what you call that lady, um, Alexa and all of that. I don't want to talk about the Alexa side of uh, AI when it comes to Amazon, but I want to talk about how Amazon itself is integrating um, AI into their software and their cloud system as well in their production and warehouses. The way they've done it, guys, 
just google ai into amazon uh, warehouses google ai into amazon cloud system they have integrated so beautiful and for me i just love that integration it's so well done and so well integrated into uh, all of that and also as well into the logistics side of amazon when it comes to delivery tracking packages tracking the logistics of their services they've integrated AI very well. I'm like I can say that so come to Amazon guys. I need you to just Google or go to YouTube, watch the videos and watch how they integrate those systems. So for me, it seems it seems like AI being productive. It seems like AI working hand to hand to make the company perform better, to make the company's operation better, not just at the end product of the user, but within the operation of the company, within the administration of the company. So Amazon for me is a company I would have to say is doing very well in integrating AI into their operation and administration. The last one is Arista Network. I'm not sure if I mispronounced that word, but I'll put it in the caption of this video, guys. This company, for the past few years, have been focusing on cybersecurity. It's a cybersecurity solution company which have integrated AI into ensuring cybersecurity at a top-notch level and networking solution as well for their clients. And they sell high performance solution using cyber security guys for me i love how this company has integrated ai into ensuring that it can protect their client cyber security online activities and ensuring that they can produce the best um what you call the best um a solution for that client when it comes to securing them online using AI. And this company has been performing very well in the New York stock markets with around 81% one year turn around uh, 10 turn over, I'll say that. Turn over, meaning they are very well in their job and they understand the integration of AI into cybersecurity. So that's what oh that's the four companies i have for you guys uh, but also there is um i don't think i need to touch on this one and more touch on this one it's the fifth one so well so it's a bonus one but i don't think i'm touching it because i'm looking at my screen right now i am missing some few points but guys as well i forgot to mention this in nvidia guys one of the biggest reasons Vida is popping as well is how Vida chips, the graphic chips, are being loved in the gaming space. The gaming community love the Vida uh, AI uh, graphic cards. Um, they need them so as well vida is good in that space as well guys so that is for today's episode of a student investor podcast with ivan sam let me know what you think about today's episode and also what do you think about the new setup do you love it what must i add what must i change until next time guys happy investing